Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. If you're new here, I'd love you to hit subscribe and follow along with my journey. As you can see, ah, I'm with Taylor. Um, you've probably seen from some of the clips. I haven't officially started the vlog, but we are on a road trip. We're currently in Revelstoke. Uh, I meant to start it back in Vancouver, but honestly, I was just enjoying spending time with my best friend and just not filming everything. Um, so I just filmed some short clips, which you've kind of seen what we've got up to, but we're in Revelstoke. We're just about to grab a coffee and then we're gonna walk around the water. It's supposed to start raining in a couple of hours. So we just wanna get a walk in and then we'll go grab some brunch. We're just walking down to the water. I feel like we'll never get used to, I know we have it a lot near Vancouver and Whistler and Squamish, but I'll never get used to just a casual A&W and a Starbucks just being nestled in amongst like all the mountains, the snowy mountains. Like it's so, it's just so cool. We're just standing on this bridge. So incredibly beautiful, so serene. And I'm not gonna lie to you, before this holiday, Taylor and I were pretty burnt out. And probably cause you, when you know you're about to go on holiday, you end up doing a lot more work and you push yourself a little bit harder and you take on more things. So I've definitely been feeling like I've had not a lot of sleep and we've just been hanging out for this holiday and just really looked forward to these peaceful moments. But we're gonna walk down there, which I think would be absolutely lovely and this water is so clear you can see the pebbles and the rocks and even the logs let me see if i can flip it around and show you look how clear that is so we're going to this little cafe main street cafe i have two cafes on my list and this is one of them so i got the oatmeal and then or porridge that's what I would usually call it porridge there's dried figs in there cinnamon crumble take out an omelet just got a little side of oat milk I'm just waiting for Taylor she's in the bathroom and then we're gonna browse around some of the shops the waitress gave us some recommendations of where we should look but we just want to have a little browse around I should have bought my sunglasses it's just, there's a lot of glare and I'm glad that it's not raining which is why we did the walk this morning Probably do another walk this afternoon uh, like a loop around a lake uh, but we wanted to get one in just in case it was pouring with rain and it's really nice that it's not because it means that we can just walk from shop to shop and not get drenched. We didn't bring an umbrella. I do have a raincoat, but oh, it's just such a nice feeling not having to rush anywhere <laughs> and just being able to slow down. Uh, this morning we did actually wake up quite early. Our cabin, uh, I'll show you when we get back. Our cabin is so cool. It is so awesome. But in order to get one of the little cabins in the woods, we had to forego indoor plumbing. So the other cabins that are kind of in and amongst the, it's like glamping, I guess, uh, they have toilets inside. Um, and this one is just, it's smack bang in the middle of the trees. It is so cute. But yeah, we, there are um, flushable toilets and showers and stuff. They're just a little bit further of a walk. And so in the pitch black, it's probably, four minute walk so there's port that are really close well, not port but a uh, kind of like outhouse and not the vibe in the pitch black you know um but anyway we, we both said that we would be more than happy to forego the indoor plumbing for the cute location because the other ones just aren't in amongst the woods and that's just totally the vibe we both drove down the little driveway to get to our accommodation and we just gasped like it was such a such a cool vibe so we are going into this bake shop in the hopes that they have carrot cake because 
we have heard very good things. Taylor, what review did you just give this? We just split them in half, by the way. We cut the cake in half, and then we also split the piece of cake in half and folded it in on itself. What did you give it? It's a six out of five stars. It's a six out of five from us. Very good. Very, like, you can probably see, just super moist. This alley has some beautiful art. Art galleries, transforming alleys into galleries. Sophie's garden. Sophie, your garden's here. I'd love something like this. You could put like recipe cards in it. Look nice on the countertop. I'm a sucker for notebooks. I write in them all the time. These are so cute. Maybe I'll get some of these printed ones. I think they come in packs of three. Oh yeah? Are they like thin yeah. little ones? But I don't like that for the same. There we go. Yeah, let's go. But it's not on um, these. Why is it not focusing? There we go. All the little face tools. The purple cake, collagen premium basement. Goodness me. And these candles are really like, they're a table piece, you know? Not just mm. smell nice, but they would look so beautiful. I'm not exaggerating when I say we've got about 45 candles at home. <laughs> and the majority of them are by for decoration. Yeah. These are so cute. I don't really know what they're for, but co coasters? Oh no, for like to make a patchwork. No, I think they're face, face, not, not close. Oh, they are too. I could have just flipped this around. It feels really silly. <laughs> Look, they've got the smaller version of the painting that you liked in the cafe. By the same artist. Yes. <laughs> I love big dumps. Revelstoke. Just looking at these t-shirts because this is something that we wanted to grab. I quite like that. Don't like the purple though, but I like the print. All different prints. Happiest in the mountains. Powder to the people. Little bear with a snowboard. They're all like, quite different. This one's like super retro. I'm gonna get Taylor's sticker for his guitar case. Look at that mountain. No, we've got um, bags in the car for the supermarket. Yeah. We're just continuing to browse. Tay picked up a t-shirt and also a candle from that store we were in before. Uh, we're also gonna go to the supermarket just because all of our accommodations do have a little fridge and we wanted to pick up some oat milk and I also am really fancying strawberries. They're pretty affordable at the moment in Vancouver. I'm not sure if the cost would change based upon like transportation of getting them to uh, somewhere like here, I don't know. Um, so if they're affordable, we'll definitely grab some of those, just get some fresh fruit to have in our little fridge. And then we're also gonna get some ground coffee because in our accommodation, we do have a Curie coffee machine. But we, I don't wanna say we're coffee snobs because we will still drink the coffee. <laughs> so we're not snobs, but like, I definitely would prefer a nice ground coffee. And I did see that they've got some local, uh, local, do you call it a beanery? Like if it was yeah, like a, bean, you, yeah, a local beanery? Sense or like they roast they roast coffee beans locally um we're just kind of walking to other little parts of town but i'm pretty sure we're out of the bulk of the sh little shoppies we uh browsed in the real estate window and it's pretty depressing by depressing i mean like what you, you can get so much for your dollar here uh just crazy a like seven bedroom house for like under a million can't believe that jade wellness what is this chinese medicine acupuncture Nick, minute we're getting a massage. Actually, if we're gonna do that, we'll probably, probably do the Emerald, Emerald Lake. <laughs> so at the end of this trip, uh, the, not the end, but like our second to last night, we're staying in Emerald Lake Lodge, which is our bougie night. And basically from the moment we check in there to the moment we check out, 
we're just going to spend our entire time at Emerald Lake Lodge. So we might get a massage there, but we're definitely going to eat at the restaurants and use the spa and everything there. And I'm so excited. Got our strawberries. No, I don't like ranch. I don't like ranch either. It's not my vibe. Okay, so we've got some beans and we're going to put them through the grinder. Let's grind them up. This is the cutest accommodation. We're in this little cabin in the woods. I'll show you the outside in a second. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I saw that the second we drove <laughs> up to it. Okay, so this is our cabin and it is so cute. I'm very excited. Apparently tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so it'd be super cozy, all the trees. <laughs> That looks dead later. Good morning, or I should say good afternoon. We have just arrived at Lake Louise. We're just walking down to the lake now from the car park. Oh my gosh, I can see it. Anyway, I just wanted to very briefly intro because I'm aware that a lot of these clips are just kind of pieced together, but that's because I'm just enjoying it. So, oh my gosh, it's actually started snowing as well. And the birdies. It's snowing a little bit heavier and we're just walking across as like a little path that you can walk across the lake and it's so insane to think that we're standing on a lake that's just you know a bright blue lake in summer and right now we're just walking across it definitely don't get that in New Zealand my hands are freezing so I'm gonna put my phone away we are just heading to dinner and this is our preview it just started spitting but I really don't want to be sitting in the car it would take us like two minutes to get there and it seems like there's a bit of congestion down in Canmore Way so maybe it would take even longer than that and the rain's really not bothering me all that much so going to a local brewery hello birdies hello you're very handsome <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh no, you sound. <laughs> Good morning from my absolutely stunning view. We're just popping into Canadian Tire because we're going to do a hike today and we want to get some crampons to go on our shoes. Uh, it's a shame that I didn't bring the ones from Vancouver, but Canadian Tire have these rubber ones that you just can kind of slip on your shoes and they've got little studs on the bottom. So really simple. We use them over Christmas on a super icy hike. So I know that they work. We're going to grab some of those, grab a coffee and be on our way. But I mean, come on. That's just next level. Everywhere I look, I'm just so amazed. Got the goods. They're not crampons, they're grip-ons. So we have found our grip-ons and now we're headed to Safeway to pick up maybe like a granola bar or some trail mix. We've packed a couple of our snacks for the hike. It's not like a super long hike, but just want to have a little bit of fuel because we're not going to have a very big breakfast. We're just going to grab a bite to eat to grab on the go because we just want to get on the road. Wow. <laughs> uh, and uh, we're also going to grab a coffee because we do actually have about an hour drive from Canmore to a lot of the trailheads actually at Lake Louise. So today we're doing Lake Agnes Trail, which is, it's not too long. And then we're going to do uh, Lake Moraine tomorrow. We have got our coffees. That took a really long time. 
uh, just because I guess. Good. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Taylor got some. I just got an oat latte. Taylor got some uh, cinnamon dolce syrup. Yeah. Cinnamon dolce syrup. So a nice sweet coffee. Um, yeah, we're. I mean, we're not in a rush to go anywhere, but we're a little bit behind what we wanted to be. We're gonna pick up some gas and then hit the road. So this is the tea house, but it's closed. I guess maybe it just closes all winter, but, and this is Lake Agnes, obviously all frozen over with snow on the top. And we will definitely be getting some pictures there after we sit down for a little bit. They definitely want some of my Bob's Bar. Just got a little snack. This is my fave, the peanut butter and jelly. Red Mill Bob's, really good. A little one for on the go. We're at the top, this is the tea house here. And just down here, I'm not sure if you can actually catch it on the camera, but you can see the chateau. So the Lake Louise Chateau down there, which is actually Taylor and I have got high tea booked there for Monday. So we'll probably look a little bit different, not in our fleece, so we'll try to be a bit fancier, but I'm excited for that. Um, they're actually doing a bunch of construction out the front, which is slightly unideal. I hope that it doesn't kind of disturb the experience, but it's still obviously so stunning. And this is the top of the hike for us. So it's, um, I'm not sure what the elevation gain is. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen now, but it's um, such a beautiful view. So worth it. And I assume that this tea house is open, like it's all boarded up in the summer, but I can imagine, you know, having a little cup of tea. Love that. We are venturing out to grab some dinner. We've just been chilling for the last wee bit, reading books, watching some Netflix, and now headed out to a place that's actually really close to us. Uh, just wanted to do a short little walk. It's actually, I feel like the time is just flying by, which we both knew that it would. We said, you know, a couple of weeks ago when time felt like it was dragging because we wanted to see each other and we were obviously heads down working hard. We said, I hope that time goes as slow when we're together as it's going now. And I can confirm that today has felt like someone's been pressing fast forward. We got home and I thought it was like 3.30, it was five o'clock. So now we're heading out 7.30. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this view, are you scurious? Which way are we going? This way. Just our casual stroll to dinner. We're just going to this place that you can see right there like a four or five minute away four or five minute away four or five minute walk away we're staying good morning we are just having the most delightful takeaway coffee i mean can you think of a better spot it is so stunning we just went to a place called the older cafe and grocery this is a really new development it's right by where we had dinner last night and the place that we just went into looks absolutely brand new. I wouldn't be surprised if it's only been open a couple of months because it just looks sparkling. And I got a couple of little bites actually, but I'm currently tucking into a lemon loaf, which as we know, lemon cake, lemon loaf is my favorite. And then I've got an oat flat white. Um, the plan today is to do a hike that's pretty close to where we are. So I think it's called Grassy Lake. Um, and it's about 4.2 kilometers, but mostly flat. It doesn't have a huge elevation gain. And it's about a 10 minute drive from where we are. Whereas we're doing another hike tomorrow that's out by Lake Louise. So we are kind of heading further out that way. We're gonna go Lake Louise tomorrow, do a hike, we have our high tea, and then we drive further uh, to go to Emerald Lake. So we just thought, don't drive all the way out to Lake Louise again today. That's our, that'll be our third day in a row and then we'd be going tomorrow as well. So four days in a row. Not that it's not beautiful enough to go there every day, but just nice to kind of stay close to here. We're gonna have dinner in Banff tonight so we'll probably go there earlier in the afternoon uh but yeah it's a uh, kind of like Banff is about a 20 minute drive from where we are so it's a kind of stay close uh type situation anyway i'm gonna enjoy my coffee here we had a nice late start to the day stunning
Taylor's got herself a Taylor's got herself a slushy. She's got a blue raspberry Fanta. We went to Circle K. And honestly, I don't go to Circle K very often because we don't have a ton around where I live in Van. But um, it's kind of a cool, fun place to go into. It's a little bit more American than Canadian. Am I right in saying that? If you're American, is Circle K American? Yes. Just kidding. <laughs> We're not going that way. Um, we parked in the free parking. So it was only like a 10 minute walk to come into town because we didn't know how long we we're going to be here for. We actually had, I didn't show my dinner, but I showed uh, our dessert. We had a banana split that we shared. Yeah, we didn't know how long we we're going to be in town for. We actually had a reservation. Ellen. 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 Steve. Ellen. Um, Ellen. We actually. I his name. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> That's what he was yelling. Steve. <laughs> Steve. Um, if you know, you know. Walk on the wild side. Those BBC talking animal videos, always a classic. Long before TikTok and uh, Instagram reels and YouTube little like videos, memes and stuff. They were the best. They weren't even called memes. I don't even know. Anyway, what a tangent. All of that just to say that we actually had our dinner reservation booked for seven because last night we ended up having dinner so late. We thought we were going to be on that same bus, but we were ready a lot earlier and I actually wanted to go into uh, a couple of shops because I wanted to get a bikini or some swimwear because I forgot, I forgot to bring them and we're headed to Emerald Lake Lodge, which is like our bougie night tomorrow night, our bougie night of accommodation where we splurged a little bit more. And I wanted to get some swimwear. I have two one pieces and when I got my stoma, in a really upset mood, I threw out all my bikinis. Now I only had three or four bikinis, but I threw them out because I thought, I'm never gonna wanna wear these again. You know, I'm not gonna wanna show my stomach. I didn't have a surgery yet for a J pouch or knew if I qualified for it, if I could get it done. And yeah, just in a kind of spring clean, I got rid of them. And I have definitely regretted it. Obviously it was an emotional decision. I just kind of put a whole bunch of clothes. Uh, I remember that a lot of my pants used to be mid-rise and a lot of my tank tops, they fit kind of like there was a small little gap and you could see the top of my bag. And yeah, I just went on a bit of a, a bit of a rampage. I don't think I ever talked about that, but yeah, I got really emotional and I just bagged up a bunch of clothes and gave them to the thrift store. So, I've been wanting to buy a bikini for a while, so that's the main reason we went into town. But because it's Sunday, we had to come in a little bit earlier to actually make sure the shops were still open. So then we were kind of just walking around with time to spare, waiting for our dinner reservation. So we went into the place where we had the reservation, which was a place called Three Bears Brewery. And they managed to fit us in like a solid hour before our reservation. So already finished and it's only 7.30 now. So our reservation was at seven, so we'd still be eating there. And now we're going to drive back to Canmore, which is about 25, 30 minutes. And we are going to just chill and watch some Netflix. And then I think we'll either do it tonight or do it tomorrow night. But I think we plan to do some stargazing because there's no big city lights. But the sun sets a little bit later here. So we're not usually still outside. We're, look, we're not nanas. We are. We are. <laughs> you guys are aware of this. I'm. I go to sleep early. I. I'm actually. We haven't been going to sleep that early, but we've been inside or watching something or reading our books or whatever, and relatively early. So, that is the plan tonight. But I'm actually going to wrap up this vlog here because tomorrow we're doing Lake Moraine Trail. We're doing high tea, and we're doing Emerald Lake Lodge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. If this isn't too noisy, I'll have to check it over and film another clip if it is. I'm going to wrap up the vlog here, but I'm going to insert clips of those things directly after this to wrap up the video. But rather than having to really think about chatting to the camera and filming and updating, I will just grab some little clips and piece them together now. So thank you so much for watching this video. Watch the next few little clips and then I will see you all in my next. As soon as I wrap that up, Taylor told me to tell you that she saw an elk and she was very excited about it, which it is exciting, but yeah, now, now I'll see you all in my next video. <laughs>